What's up guys and welcome back to another damn horror movie review show here on F and Ingenious with your host as always Eric Harrison and unfortunately today we're going to talk about Alien Resurrection. Alien Resurrection came out in 1997. The story takes place 200 years after number three. Scientists have cloned Ellen Ripley and they have basically, I don't know, somehow recreated aliens and you know, they're trying to understand them and trying to turn them into weapons in some way. And you know, same plot as the rest of them. Uh, Ripley's gotta fight some aliens. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. Uh, yeah, so Alien Resurrection came out in 1997, has a bunch of stars in it, um, Ron Perlman, Sigourney Weaver, uh, Winona Ryder, Brad Dourif. Brad Dourif is in the movie and I find it really off-putting whenever he talks. I'm like, damn, Chucky's in this movie? Because he talks very, very closely to his Chucky voice, so it's kind of off-putting to me. I'm like, what? I think the movie would have been better if Chucky was actually in the movie, to be honest with you. Chucky vs. Aliens. Make that movie, Hollywood. Don't fuck with the Chuck! They really just kind of said, screw the suspense, screw the characters. Let's just take, you know, the alien, take Sigourney Weaver, throw them in a alien-looking environment and just rake in the cash. They, they just scrapped everything that was good about the original movies. They don't really build any suspense at all. They don't develop characters, almost not at all. These people are all two-dimensional walking around, saying catchphrases and just typical, stereotypical bullshit lines. Uh, they do give us a lot more alien action, um, but again, that's something they scrapped from the original instead of giving you flashes and waiting towards the end to show them. It's from the very beginning, they're just showing you aliens, aliens, aliens. It's right out there in front of the camera. They, they give you too much, kind of ruins it. And what's with that fucking alien at the end that looks like Pumpkinhead? What the hell is with that thing? I don't know. I don't like anything about this movie, to be honest with you. So I'm sorry to end this franchise review on a, a sour note, but um, I don't dig it really in any way at all. I wish they had stopped on 3. 3 was would have been the perfect ending to... Uh, a, a really great trilogy. So as for Ra Alien Resurrection, I guess if you're into, you know, action and you like horror and you like aliens, check it out. As for me, I'm going to give it two out of five stars. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed my thoughts about the Alien franchise. Uh, as always, leave a comment to let me know what you guys thought, and tune in next time as we review some more awesome-ass horror movies. I'm Eric Harrison, and I'm out. I'll catch you on the next video. Check. Testing. Testing. Check. Check. Hells yeah. All right, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to roll. Ready to do this. Ready to roll. Ready to do this. Ready to roll. We are recording. What's up, gang? This is Eric Harrison, as always, and your mom's a slut. Alien Resurrection came out in 1997. Um, let's do that again. Let's do another one. Alien Resurrection came out in 1997. It's... Uh, one more just for the fuck of it. Alien Resurrection came out in 1997. It's... Uh, shit, dude. Take whatever I'm on. So... Uh, I got nothing here. Nikki, I'm gonna fucking slap you. God damn it. You already pissed me off and put me in a fucking bad mood. <sighs> Fuck, dude. It's always, it's always like this. Whew. Shall we, shall we just go into this next one? I'm on a roll. Let's do it. Aliens came out in 1986 and directed by John. Um, that was good until I fucking stuttered. All right, one more to go. One more to go and I'm done with this shit. Alien Resurrection came out in 1997. <laughs> I wonder if it came out in 1997.
Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> Let's hope that's good enough. Fucking ingenious.